What is up, Ghoul Army? It is your boy, Dark Ghoul here, and in today's video, we actually got ourselves another little challenge right here. And in the previous video, or not a previous video, but a while back, we did do the push pin challenge on Pokemon cards. And this time, we are going to be doing the safety pin slash baby pin. Well, even though these are called safety pins, but I used to call these baby pins for some reason. I have no idea why, but they come in all sorts of sizes in this little box of assortment. Or plastic of assortment I should say but before we get into this video go ahead and smash that like button for your boy because if you guys smash that like button right now we won't be destroying anything good I can guarantee you that because smashing that like button will give us extremely good luck but anyways guys we got fates collide once again I have a couple packs that I picked up at my local Walgreens because Fates Collide is life and we have a very very strong bond by now because Fates Collide hates us probably hates us to guts and we still love it you know Fates Collide is always going to be there for us when it comes to challenges so never go out of print Fates Collide because we need you we need you Alrighty, guys I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop but before we get into this video let me go ahead and grab the dice that we are gonna be using and I'm gonna explain what are we doing today alrighty guys so we got ourselves a classic white die right here and what we're gonna be doing is we have a whole bunch of safety pins right here we got a dice and a fates collide pack so how this is gonna work is for each card that we have we are going to be rolling the dice and depending on what number this dice lands on that's how many safety pins we're going to be putting on the card however if it lands on a one or a six that means it's going to have zero safety pins now i know in the previous push pin challenge that i failed to do this and actually destroyed a really good holographic card which was a team flare item a lot of you pointed that out and i was like wow how did I miss that? But I guess I was just rambling on too much and I literally forgot that that card shouldn't have been push pinned. But anyways, guys, in this video, like I said, one and six are our lucky numbers. And if it lands in either of those two numbers, that means we are going to be saving that card. So without further ado, guys, let's get it and let's get into the first pack of fates collide right here guys so let's open this up and hopefully there's nothing good like i said if you guys smash that like button that means we are going to be having extremely good luck so here is the code card to this fates collide booster pack right there guys and we're actually just going to shuffle this up or actually no there is no point in shuffling but we're going to shuffle it up anyways just so you know we don't have the commons first and stuff like that so it can be completely random so let's go ahead and put the pile of cards to the right right here and let's go ahead and start with the first card i have no idea what to expect but let's get it guys the first card is going to be getting four safety pins dang it we're already starting off with a kill guys we are starting off with a kill so just look at that pointy safety pin right there guys just look at that that's not really safe in my opinion so let's go ahead and stab this card like that guys and we got one in this card right here guys i think we're gonna be saving what we destroyed till the end so we got two right there guys we need two more safety pins and i swear every time i do challenges like this it always scares me because what if i destroy a freaking ex card what if i destroy a freaking mega card a full art a secret rare okay i'm losing breath and i need to chill i need to cut it okay we got four pins on this card so let's go ahead and put that to the side let's put it up here just so it's still visible and let's get into the next card i think when we get to three cards we'll present what we have so far so for the next card we are going to be putting how many how many it looks like another four guys really we're putting four more safety pins on this card right here guys so let's just get it man and hopefully these cards aren't nothing too special or too crazy i should say but let's get it guys we got one right there and then we got two more these are little ones like i said it was an assortment of small safety pins and big safety pins but also guys the 30,000 subscribers special is coming very very soon like i said i'm just waiting on one product to arrive so i can finally get the video recorded it's annoying me so much and it probably won't be up till tuesday i believe and i'm actually waiting for the product to come through from the mail so sunday there's no mail unfortunately so i have to wait till monday so the card can actually arrive or not the card the product because it's not just a single card i have no idea why i said card but let's get into the third card right here guys and another freaking four guys 
Seriously? We got four, four, four plus two, two, two. Lil Uzi Vert. Anybody know Lil Uzi Vert? Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'll probably nobody listens to Lil Uzi Vert and my fan base, honestly. If you do, though, shout out to y'all because I dig Lil Uzi Vert. So let's actually get into the next card, or this card, I should say. And we got another four, guys. So I swear, if we get another four, I will literally pin all of these cards together. If we get another four. I'm telling y'all, my rolls are extremely bad. I have no idea why I'm keep getting fours. But I guess it is what it is. So we got another four pins on this card. And like I told you guys, once we reach three cards, we are going to be presenting what we have so far. So the first card that we pinned right here, guys, who is it going to be? This Pokemon card has piercings all over it, guys. It is a Gothita. Honestly, I can see Gothita with like a whole bunch of piercings. Like this looks like the type of Pokemon that will have a ton of piercings, you know, like emo kind of status depressed and that kind of stuff you know, not saying that it's a joke or anything but yo i swear i can see gothita doing all of those things so that is our first kill of the day guys that is unfortunate not really but it's still unfortunate but the next card is oh man we got the homie n I'm sorry, my dude, but you're the GOAT in the Pokemon TCG. So I apologize, my dude. Let me actually take off these pins because you don't deserve to have these on because you are literally the GOAT. Greatest of all time, Mr. N. So let's go ahead and take it off. And we got his partner, Zora, right there in the cut, just staring him down, enjoying the beautiful day. So let's go ahead and put that card to the side. Like I said, I apologize, Mr. N. So the next card that we safety pinned is going to be a Rylu, bruh. Why are we getting so many cool Pokemon? Mine is Gothita. I was never a fan of Gothita, honestly. I have no idea why. I'm pretty sure a lot of people do like it. It is from Generation 5, I'm pretty sure. But I just never took a liking to it. It is like a wannabe Curlia. Not Curlia, but Rawls, Gardevoir, and whatnot. So that's the main reason why I didn't really like it as much. So let's get into the next card, guys. And let's see... How many safety pins is this card going to suffer with? Ooh, we got a one. We finally got the first save, guys. So let's save our saves for last. Get it? We're going to be saving our saves for last. No, no, no. That was extremely lame. So let's get into the next card and let's see what we... Ooh, we got another one, bruh. Let's get it, guys. We got another one and we got a five. So this card right here, you have been selected to have the lucky number five. And you can actually have and pins so you can have four pins that belonged to mr n and you are going to be getting an additional pin to make five so we're going to give you three right there guys so like i said once you pin a pokemon card it is extremely extremely damaged and there's literally no more saving that card so let's go ahead and put one more pin onto this pokemon card right here and let's go ahead and put it next to our saves because i believe we have like three cards left so we're actually going to be going through the rest of the cards since we only have a couple left so the next one is a four i swear that card interfered and made it into a four it was probably a six or a one honestly but i guess it is a four now guys so let's get it let's get into this card and ooh, that felt hard to put through does that mean this was an EX card, guys. I swear to God, if this was an EX card, I am literally going to die and faint in this video. Literally, that's what's going to happen to your boy. So make sure you guys smash that like button for your boy, because if I die, bury me under the Pokemon Center store, literally. So let's go ahead and put this card to the side. And it looks like we have three more cards left, guys. So the next one is going to be a one. We finally got another save, guys. We finally got another save. So the next roll is going to be... I swear, if we get another four, I am literally going to lose it. There has been so many fours. I don't know if it's the way I'm rolling this dice or what, guys. I don't know. My curse to put four pins on each card? I have no idea. But let's go ahead and do it anyways because rules are rules and we have to follow these rules i swear i'm trying to avoid pinning the play mat because i don't want to damage this play mat it is my only one minus the ho oh 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 that hurt guys i literally just stabbed myself oh my god note to self guys do not talk and ramble while you're handling safety pins jeez louise 
that hurt guys that literally packed a punch right there look at that it's starting to ooze out a little bit of blood but it's all good guys safety is not the number one priority on this channel even though it should be because your boy be doing a lot of crazy challenges but that hurt guys Jeez, it's like picked through my finger and whatnot. It's like I got a shot in my finger. You know, when you go to the hospital and they give you shots and whatnot. I remember one time that I got a shot on my finger. It was like the weirdest shot ever. I have, I have no idea why they would actually do it to your finger, but I guess it was a thing back then. So let's go ahead and do the final card in this video, guys. And it is a two. At least it's not a four because if it was a four, your boy was about to flip. Your boy was literally about to flip. So let's go ahead and pin this last card right here, guys. And then we're going to be looking at what we pinned and what we saved. So we got two pins on this card. Let's go ahead and put our dice to the side as well as these extra push pins, right? As well as these extra safety pins. And let's go ahead and reveal the first card that we destroyed. And it is a Cottony right here, guys. So we got another common card, which is not too crazy. And then we got a Burmy right there, guys, with the squad right here. Turning up, ready to party, literally. And the next card is a Warmadam Rare Reverse. No, that's not a rare. That's actually a common. What? Oh, no. This is actually an uncommon, not a rare. So we got an uncommon reverse, which is unfortunate. And the final card that we destroyed in this video is going to be a Bronzong Regular Rare, guys. So at least it's not an EX. And let's see exactly what we saved. So we got, oh, we got Lord Helix in the cut, guys. All hail Lord Helix because we saved Lord Helix in this video. Y'all gotta praise. Y'all gotta appreciate this fossil, this piece of art, this history, this god. You guys just gotta appreciate it so much. Then we got an Audino Spirit Link right there, guys. And we got a Snubble. Literally, we got a snubble that probably broke that vase and it's now hiding away from its trainer. Like, bruh. Get away from me. So what? I broke your vase, bro. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? That snowball doing snowball. Did I literally just call snowball snowball? I can't believe I just did that. But it's all good. I was trying to make a little joke with it, but it completely failed when I mispronounced the name. So without further ado, guys, let me know what you guys think about this challenge in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and turn on those post notifications just so you guys are aware every time your boy uploads a video. Like I said, 30,000 subscribers special is coming soon, even though we're getting close to 32,000. But it's all good, guys. I appreciate your support so much. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,